All right, welcome everyone. We have the boys' home opener here hosting Quabbin. Yeah, as always, I'm Miss Russell sitting here with the proud new owner <laughs> of a new water heater, <laughs> Mr. Royce and, and Furnace. Yeah. How'd yep. that go today, buddy? Well, it went. Yeah. My pockets are pretty empty now, but, you know, got to have heat and hot water during the winter. Yeah. So here we are. But anyway, yeah, our first uh, our first look at the boys. We uh, we had the girls for two games, and uh, now the now it's the boys are up. So we'll start off with the JVs. We gotta make sure we get our swing players down. Yeah, to start here we got Brian Sylvester, Caleb Coyne, Liam Nelligan, Pat Mahan, and Jake Nataro. Good old Jake. Four of them swing players. Yeah. Let's see. For Quabbin here, we have Colin LeClaire, Brady Patchen, Jacoby Venn, Amori Perez, and Evan Sherbloom. And here we go. Perez over the right to Sherbloom. Back up. Patch on the top, dribbles right. Dishes it down to the corner. Gail starting so Vester on the zone. defense. Nice step and up. step out of bounds. Yeah. Gail started in a 2-3 zone. Good pressure there by Liam Nelligan. One possession and a turnover. So Natara will start it here for the Gales. <clears throat> Off to Liam. Back over to Bry. Caleb on the far side. Bobbin Staunton and Mann. Patty M looking for some help. Gets it into Caleb. And that's going to be good. Two for Coin. Yeah, nice, nice, uh, nice post move. Had a wing wide open, too. Gail's going to go with the pressure. Perez in the middle. Yeah, no one, no one got to the middle. It was open. Corner shot, three, no good. By Venn. Sylvester, no good off the rim. And we'll get a foul. Looks like we're going to get it on the floor. <laughs> foul is on 12. That would be Colin LeClaire, his first. Into Coiner. Oh, nice dish down to Patty M. And back to Coin for two. Now the old give and go on the baseline. Gale's up 4 0. Pressure here, and again, Quabbin made it in the middle. They had a much better job this time. Yeah, got behind the defense. Nice pass out to Perez. Back out. Sherblum back to Perez. Gonna take the three. Rims out, rebound coin. Gonna push it up the floor. Finds Jake. They have more zone now. Brian's gonna take the three. That's gonna be good, Sylvester. Now, no one came out to contest. So TM took it. Trademark. <laughs> Down Perez. Gale's up to a 7 0 lead early. Back out to Patchen. Gonna take the mid range. No. Sherblum with the rebound. That was a long bounce off the hoop. Yeah. So we get the call there. Now, yeah, what do we got in the. Uh, right here to the baseline. Good pump fake. Draws the contact. First foul on Coiner. Well, he's got four points. First one rims out there for Patchen. <laughs> Second one rims out as well. Sherblum though with the rebound back out. Oh, 
Good defense here by the Gales. Under 10 now, shot clock. A nice pass and can't finish. But rebound blocked by Patty M and the putback, no good. Pat comes down with it. Wow. That was a tough sequence with Quabbin. They did everything a couple of times except for get the ball in the hoop. And Unlike Patty M. Patty. Good hard physical take. Yeah, it looked like they tried to draw the foul, but no call there. Dish down low, Venn, puts it up, no. Over the back. And yet we'll get a foul there on Anthony Corderone. That's an easy call, over the back. Yeah, Quabbit's just crashing the boards. They've, they've probably got about five or six rebounds and multiple second opportunities. But nothing to show for it yet. James, the captain hook, comes in. <laughs> How many hands does he have? Brian down a coin. Nice D. Nice find. Liam couldn't finish there. Rebound. Quabin pushing ahead here. Sherblum up against Patty and blocked. Oh, that should be, yeah. White ball. We get that one? No, I think we missed it. Try real quick. We get the block. No, we just missed it. That was a nice defensive play by Booby. Coyne's gonna take it. Wide left. Perez with the rebound. Sherblum thought about it, dribbles in. The floater, no. Gotta go back to Quabbin. Yeah, too bad Pat didn't see him sooner. He had, he had Sylvester streaking down. Open. He also gonna stay in their zone press. Nice try, Liam. Steal there by Patty. They go, go ahead and Bry, oh, just short. Well, he looked up that time though and had him. Oh, the pump fake. And the finish there from Patchen, good for two. Brian for three, second one of the game. Again, no one came out to contest. About the same spot that he hit the first one. And we got a five second call here. We take a look at that quick, quick replay. Right here, no one comes out to contest. Thank you, Brian Sylvester. And he's got six. Another one here. Bry, that one rims out. Uh, that's not his spot. He's got to hit it from the wing. Floater doesn't fall for Cook. And we'll go back to the Gales. Nataro far side. Gonna take it and good finish there, Jake. It was a nice finish. Good tough, tough hoop. Oh, what was that? Look out. Yeah, right to Patty. Playing safety there in football. Oh, good move into Liam and oh, blocked by Corderoni. Oh, and Liam gets the block on that one too, unfortunately. You got him. No. All right, let's take a look. Oh, he is? He is giving them the call? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So foul there on Liam. And we'll get a timeout here from Coach Solmassi. Two minutes to go in the first. Gale's up 14 to two. So how was school today? Oh, just great. Yeah? Yeah, just a 
Typical day. Yeah, CHS. typical day. Nothing. Uh, nothing extraordinary. That's good. That's good. I know we get so we got the boys watching tonight. I don't know if we've got a uh, new audience, but we got to take a look at the uh, the scoreboard. If anybody hasn't caught it yet in the well, first two games, looks great. That was easy to follow. Tells us the fouls real time. Who's in? Who scored? There it is. Right there. We zoom in a little. I know we get some some pipes in the way, but looks phenomenal. We've already had it debuted last week. The girls. Yeah, I wasn't here on uh, Friday. Obviously, you did the game with J Lo. How was that? I know they lost, but uh... well, I, again, the the JV girls play with high energy. A lot of it comes from their coach, Jumpin' Jack Gillette. Love it. Although we got to work on his uh, his attire. Oh, what was the what was the fit? Oh, uh, well, he reversed the colors this time. Good, I love it. Yeah, well, it was Neshoba green and mustard yellow ties. I love so. the mustard yellow. Now, you just love mustard on your hot dogs, that's all. You baseball guy, you. Yeah. Turn over there, Jake comes up with it. Patty M takes it himself off the glass. Oh, rims out, not sure how. Actually had, believe it or not, had too much spin on it. That's what happened. And that's going to be off of Patty. Peppermint. It is that time of year. A one, 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 three zone here by the Gales. Down low. That's a jump. Yep. Yeah. And it should be Gale Ball. Best table in Central Mass over there. They have to learn on the fly with this new scoreboard. Not easy. Jake going to go left. Back out. Liam. Jake off the glass. Gets his own rebound. Up again is good. Good effort there by Jake. Yep. Stayed with it. Look out. That's, oh. And I think, uh, I mean, it was a good hustle by yeah, Caleb, but. Just let it, uh, I think he was seeing that breakaway. If he, if he got control of it, he had the clear line to the hoop. I think he was thinking dunk. <laughs> Speaking of dunks, Mr. Green's in the house. Hello, Mr. Green. Under a minute. Cook. That's another tip by Mahan. Yep. Coin up ahead. Misses that. Liam, though. Patty in the paint. Oh. Jeez. Several opportunities didn't fall. Corderoni off the backboard, no good. And the putback by Patchen is good. He's got all four of Quabbin's points. Jake looks like he's going to take it himself. The fall away off the back of the rim. After one, we have Gale 16. Panthers four. Let's take a look at what we got right here. The finish. Quabbin, Patchen with four. And that's where we stand at the end of one. Sixteen to four. Did you get your Christmas shopping done? Yeah, pretty much. Did you get mine done yet? Yours has been done since uh, last year. The first one I buy. Hmm. I buy it actually on December twenty sixth. Do you? Yep, every year. No, it's not like Paul Z buying everything cheap. <laughs> Was it wrapping paper? The on sale wrapping paper? Is that what you buy me? <laughs> it's 75% off every time. <laughs> yeah. So he buys his Halloween candy on November 1st. <laughs> oh, Mr. Papecki, thanks for the water. It's not open, so that's good. 
courtesy of First Robotics. <laughs> I think uh, he said he was making 20-something pounds of pasta tomorrow, so the whole clown of T Clinton is invited, I think. Stop it. Really? <laughs> For what? A robotics dinner? Yeah. Oh, yeah? So do you guys, if robotics has a dinner, do you guys use utensils or you just have the robot feed you? Is that? That's a, you know, that's good practice, yeah. Good practice. All right, here we go. We got a basketball game. Quarter number two. Patchen looking in the middle. Good tip away by Sylvester. Litton in. Cuban in. Rosa in. Oh. And travel. Couldn't tell. Thought maybe he lost the ball. Well, that was screened. Louis Mesita, one of the officials tonight. Long-time official. Oh, and that's going to be off uh, Hiram's foot. Former athletic director. Great guy. Patchen dribbles baseline, puts up the floaters. Good. Brady with six, Calvin with six. So in other words, the Gale 16 and the patch in six. Litton at the top. Oh. Rosa bounce pass into coin, in the paint, the float, good. Pressure, that was good ball movement that time. The baby hook for Caleb. Good job getting the middle this time, too. Ooh, that was close to a 10-second. Patch in. No. Put back is going to be good by someone other than Brady Patch in. That's Colin LeClaire. Yeah, that was a good move, too. Coin. Down to Linton. Back out corner. Cuban. Sylvester gonna take the three, no. Good hustle. And Perez can't save it. Speaking of mustard, a little too much on that hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Oh. Mrs. Kaiser in the house? Next stoppage, we'll have to check on our uh, viewership. We got Mr. Hilton with us tonight. Coin, Litton in the middle, was Not tipped. Them. Sylvester back out. The 10 on the shot clock. Rosa, three, no. Tipped away by Sylvester, oh. Rosa. Oh, oh, that's gonna rim out. Couple of opportunities. Yeah, Perez, that's through the hand of Sherblum. Rosa gets it back and over to Tiern and back to Coin. Oh, the spin by Bry blocked by Corderoni. Yeah, that was a nice job by Corderoni to stay with it. Oh, nice move by oh, Perez, yeah. but he traveled. Yeah, check that boarding pass. What do we got in the queue? The last one. The last one. Right here, the travel. Too many steps. Although I don't think anybody wanted to travel yesterday with that weather. That was wild. Yesterday I thought it was nice yesterday. It was like 75 sunny. Not a cloud in the sky. Hmm. Maybe in Lunenburg. Isn't that the name of the show? Always sunny in Lunenburg? It is. And nice shot there by Linton. Luke Linton. Look out. Sherblum three, no. Job by Cohen to get that rebound and Jake's gonna settle it down here, coming up the right side. Hey, 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 
Shot by Coin. No. Balls on the ground. Spun away by Patchen. Takes it himself. Is good. Another one. Now well, we got a shoelace here. You take a look at Patchen's drive. Strong to the hoop. He's got eight. So we're halfway through the uh, second quarter. Cuban, far side, dribbles in, takes it. Nope. Gonna be tipped out on Linton. When Jake Notaro had that ball on the wing, he could have driven to the right side and had an easy lane right to the hoop, but instead went inside. And he's got, uh, has he got a bloody nose? Jake Notaro, he's got, or has he uh, just got a cold? Oh no, yeah, I see it in his nostril. He gets those. Um, he's gotten a few times during gym class. Why, because you bop him in the head? <laughs> no, it's just, uh, that's just something he gets as Patchen gets another two. He said they're habitual, they're chronic. Hmm. Borky in nice the game. Nice move by Nataro, speak the devil, and one. Count it. Yeah, so Jake should have... Right here, could have kept going, but decided to come back inside, and then he draws the foul, as you can see. Foul is on number 10, Aiden Crane, his first. Not too many fouls, actually, so far. Nope. And I don't know if we've got a new audience, but we um, should probably go over the, uh, the new rules. I'm not sure if everybody's been paying attention for the first couple of games for boys. That... Uh, after five fouls, you're shooting two. No more one and one. Yep. And they wipe the fouls, team fouls, after every quarter. But regardless, we've only had one, two, three, four fouls total called. So we won't be shooting foul shots yet. Coroni put back. No. Over the back. Yeah, foul again on number four, Anthony Coroni. Yeah, they got to... Gotta do a better job of getting to the hoop, get some rebounds. Caleb, oh, left hand, right side, Caleb. Stays white ball. Good sportsmanship there. <laughs> Jake into coin. Back and down. And that doesn't finish. Eye off the glass, Caleb. Fork three, no. I don't think there's a spot on the floor that Danny Bork doesn't like, right? Coin again, that one's good. Just like on the golf course. There isn't, there isn't a spot on the golf course he doesn't like. Oh, almost. Recover. Sherblum, good for three. Yeah, defense got tangled up there because corner had gone for the steal. Oof. Perez saw that one coming. Bork, no good. Wonder why Jake passed that up. Yeah, it looked like he was gonna shoot it. Perez, three, no. Caleb comes down with it. 1.30 left to go in the half. And has a lane. And we'll finish that one. Coast to coast, Caleb. Go, 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 go
the top, Corderoni. Back over to Venny. Down low, Anthony blocked by Linton. Down on the shot clock. Oof. Yeah, good defense there by the Gales. It was also a fastball. You should sign him up. And that'll be an offensive on Bork. Let's take a look at that. Do we, uh, do we get it? Kind of curious. Nice spin move, but yeah, all right. He had position. He had it. So, Danny Bork's first. The younger Vinny checking in. Tyler Vanass. Patchen puts it up, rims out. Coroni will get an and one. Again, Quabin is just really tough on the boards. And this is a classic example right here, getting all the dirty work, getting the hoop, drawing the foul. Fouls on Sylvester's first. Does not complete the three-point play. Florida no good. Litton comes down with it. And oh. Van Assel gets to the line. Uh, I think Luke, Luke Linton should have just gone back up. But instead passed it up in traffic. But draw the foul. Which is going to be Crane's second. Vinny to the line for two. First one good. Believe it or not, that's our first made free throw. It is. Second one will rim out. Coin in off. Corona comes down to one second, though. And that'll do it for the half. We'll leave you here with the Gales 27, Panthers 17, 10-point lead. We'll see you in 10.
All right, we're back. Getting ready for the second half of JV boys. Gale's up 27-17. Yeah. Good first half. Jake Nataros gets six. Luke Linton with two. Tyler Van has got one free throw. Bobby Mahan's got two. Brian Sylvester's got two. Three pointers, that is, for a total of six. Caleb Coins get ten. We'll see how long he plays here. I know he's uh, one of the swings for Vasity. And on the uh, Quabbin side, Corderoni with two. Sherblum with the one three. Leclerc with two, but it's been the Brady Patchen show with ten. Ten tough points. Panthers get the ball. Is it six total quarters in a day? Is that what it is? Uh, I believe so, yes. For swing players? Yeah, that, that rule was changed a few years ago. I think I think because of COVID, I think. Patch in, no. Rebound, Linton. I think you're right, six total quarters. Were you just eating chips? Yeah, they smell good. They are good. What'd you have? Barbecue. The mesquite barbecue. Oh. Spicy? A little bit. Just the perfect amount. Oh, Linton wanted it under the rim. Well, Fluke Linton wants it. Get it to him. Cuban three. Good. Cuban. No one came out. Might as well take it. Corderoni back up top, Perez three. Bounces out, comes down to Nataro. Up to Sylvester, he's under the hoop and it'll be fouled by Perez. Yeah. Good heads up play, quick outlet. And then that's, uh, I don't know if that's a good foul, but it's a, it's a foul because probably would have been an easy two for Sylvester. First one rims out. Second one is good. Linton. I thought that was going to go out of his hands for a second, but secures it. I thought he was going to step out of bounds, actually. Sylvester back up to coin, settles it down. Cuban. The mid range from coins, good. Nice shot by Caleb. Finding his open spot. Corderoni, no. Good inside position by Coin. He's off to the races. Ooh. Ooh. No. Okay. Loader from Sherblum, no. Coin gets it. Nataro baseline, looks for some help. Into Coin, good dish, back out. Sylvester, three, no. Brian had that hot start. Perez, no. Another offensive rebound by Quabbin. Yeah, doing a good job. Down this end of the floor, Corderoni, baseline, looking for some help, trap, back out Perez. Yeah, 
And we'll get a foul there. Now, see, that's the hard part about if you give up offensive rebounds, that means you've got a fresh 35 seconds. So you got to keep working on defense. And defense takes a lot out. You gotta you gotta really work hard on defense, and yep. that that's kind of the case right there. Then he gets trapped and have to foul. That foul on Nataro, which puts Patchen at the line, made the first one. Second one also good. He's two for four from the line. That's 50%. Good math. Coin takes it himself. Too strong, the put back, no. Now that was, that was a nice play too because after everybody cleared through, Caleb had a nice lane to the hoop, couldn't finish. Stolen by coin. Picked your pocket. And we'll get an offensive here on Sylvester. Yeah, I, I think they're gonna get him for pushing the arm. Now, Coach Bonsi doesn't agree. And we'll get a technical here on Bonds. Patchen's going to be taking the free throw. First one will be good. Second one also good. Four for six for Patchen. That's, oof, I don't know what that is. Four for six? 20%? 67%. Left the advocates at home. Got to get it for the varsities. Yeah, you better. You have to run. Or text your wife. Tell her to come drop it off. Spin from Patchen behind the back, back out. Patch in, the floater down low is gonna be good from Owen Swarig. The defense had uh, committed, and rightly so, to Patchen because he's been lighting it up here. And that left Tarag open. Look out. Over the top from Coin. Air mail. Oh, J-Lo's in the house. Oh, yeah? Nothing else to do on a Tuesday night? Hey, you got even got the front row tickets. How do you yeah. get those seats? Jeez. He must know he must somebody. Know, that's what I was just about to say. Well, the reverse, no good. Those are prime tickets. Those are like Spike Lee seats right there. Huh? Corner, back out wing to the top. Sherblum try to get it to Corderoni. Coin has it, gets it to Nataro. Whoops. Thread the needle. Ooh. Oh, just shy. But again, used, used his right hand on the left side. Yeah, it's going to be off of Sherblum. JLo must be scouting the boys, getting ready for the next time yeah. he has to do the game for one of us. Right, is that it? Taking his notes. first, yeah. Sylvester, three, no. And it's going to be off of Cook. Captain? No, Crane, sorry, Aiden Crane. Oh, come on.
Serve on the arm. Yep. yep. So Crane. So Coyne will get to the line for two. That's th three on Crane. Oh, not a shooting foul. Uh, no. Guess not. Nice move there by Linton. Ah, oh, that looked like Kevin McHale on his 70th birthday. That one's gonna be good. From Cook. Thank goodness for I that know, scoreboard. <laughs> Can't look down for a sec. Oh, pocket pick. Dish it. Oh, no. Coin. Coiner's taking it. Yeah. See, I get 14 for him. What's the scoreboard? Ah, see? Got it. Yes. We're good. We're on track. Nice play. Nataro will get the and one. Foul will be on Venny. Take a look. Yeah. Off to the races, Jake Nataro. He has eight. Bearing this free throw. Oh, did I even hit anything? No, I was gonna no say. call. And Linton. Nice turnaround. But I think I heard someone say yeah. violation. I I don't think it hit the rim. Three there, no. Patching coming up on one minute in the third. D here. Oh yeah, Good Danny push on Bork. Yeah, I had his hands on his hip. So that should be two, two on Borky. Under a minute here. Patchen. Out to Cook. Under a minute. Perez, three, no. Rebound coin. Coin for three is gonna be good. Yeah, he's gotta hit that one. No Wide one. Wide open. No one within about five feet from him. We'll get a timeout here. So we take a look. Nice fast break. No one comes out in the transition. Bingo. And Coiner's got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 17. And that's what the scoreboard says. So I'm correct. Can't, sure. Can't question me. No. Don't even try it, Mr. Hilton. So again, we get the varsity coming up at seven. And it looks like we should be uh, close to tip off. As we get about 30 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. And a fairly close uh, contested game. Fast pace. Yeah, we should finish in plenty of time to get this thing rolling for varsity on time. Yeah, I mean, not too many fouls have been called, like I said, so. That always helps. I, I'm still, this jury on for me is still out on this whole shooting two after five fouls because the officials told me that it would speed up the game. I'm not sold on that just yet. So, But this will be our first boys game, so we'll see how that goes. I was talking to some of the varsity kids as well the other day as Patchen has a spin out to Perez. Mid-range, no. The putback, no, and we'll get a foul. And they were saying that it kind of takes off the pressure 
of the one-in-one -one shots. Think about how critical some of those one-in-one -one shots, the pressure of that situation. Yeah, because you, you miss and could be going the other way. Teams got fouls to give. Oof, but I, but I, I, I also think it does take away from, from uh, some of the strategy that goes along with that. So I, I don't know. Well, I guess, like I said, so you have to see how the season, uh, season progresses. Yeah, we will. So Corderoni over two, coming up on ten seconds. Coin, left hand, left side, good. Nice take. He was off to the races. Patch in, it's off. Ooh, off the rim. That's the end of three. Gales have opened it up here. I imagine that's gotta be it for Caleb Coyne, right? He's played, played, he's played three. three yep. I gotta imagine he's uh, gonna go get ready for Vasity. So you got the big one with Quabin and Coach Dex. Who's been around for a long time. So we have a Gale lead of 46-25. Now I'd be curious to see what the crowd is like tonight too. Home opener? Oh, for the boys, yeah. But it is a Tuesday. It is, you know, Quabbin. It's a, it's a hike for a Tuesday. See how they travel. Yeah. But they could just sit back and watch us on Greenlight Studios. Like we've got 32 people currently watching. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first of two here from Clinton High School. Gale's up 45, excuse me, 46-25. So we enter the fourth quarter. Oh, we got Connor checking in. Pointing. Hi, Connor. I see uh, Jaden Braga had checked in the very end of the third. He's going to stay in. Whoops. Oof. Yep. Uh, Danny stopped his dribble. Stolen there by Cook. Has a breakaway. And Coin can't get it. Oh, who left him? Perez, no. Cohen comes down with it. Can't leave the ball. Oh, and was looking for Braga. But Braga wasn't looking for him, though. Looks like we got a 1 3 1 zone now. Patchen, mid-range, no. Corderoni, good fight, and that'll finish. No, just no one picked him up. Stood there by himself, gets the easy offensive rebound. I should have kept track of offensive rebounds for Quabbin tonight. They, I bet you they're in double digits. Poynton dishes it off to Bork. <clears throat> Back up, Braga. Is Smitty babysitting over there? <laughs> Coin three. No. Get Smitty daycare going on behind the bench. Smitty care. Smitty care. Smitty does care. Linton, this ball is just all over the place right now. Yeah, you better get out of there, though. Wide open three for Coin. That's going to hit. Does he get 20? 22. 22. Patching good for two. He'd been quiet till that bucket. He's up to 15. Turn and face the hoop. There you go. Bingo. Coin the turnaround. Three, no good for Venny. No. 
Oh, and the move there from Coin. Coin is just having, you know, just doing what he wants in the offensive end right now. Yeah, and I, I, I'm running out of room on my score sheet here, so. No good on that three from no. Sherblum. That would be staying. I guess not. Oh, yeah, Kelly Camoni checking in for the first time. Yep. Vinny back. TM back. The trademark. It's all right. Didn't work. Reset. Good job. Someone's got to move, though. A lot of standing around on offense. Coin three. Whew. All right, I'm going to have to bring him back down to earth and play him one-on-one -on -one tomorrow. Oh, boy. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. Sylvester, off the glass, no coin though, right there, and we'll get the end one. Well, this has turned into the Caleb coin yeah. show here in the uh, third and fourth quarter. What does he have up there, 31? He does have 31. Well, he's just taken over. Yeah, the old days. Going to complete the three-point play. The old days, he would have been out at halftime. But now, like you were saying, play six quarters. That still leaves him with two for, for Vosity. Shot, Benny. Nope. That was good ball movement by Quabbin. And that was good hustle. Kelly, over to Connor. Right oh. oh, you had the, yep, good move there by Kelly. Sylvester, no. Anthony, rebound. That's good hustle by Caleb. And taking himself. Underneath the hoop. Yeah, now he's stuck. Yeah, nothing to go, nowhere to go. Well, Kelly hands, comes up with it. Good hands, Kelly Camoni. Coin, back out, Vin. It'll give and go. On the floor, on the floor. You know, they, they tried the pick and roll. Didn't quite work. Defense was overplaying, but you are going to get um, Prague for the foul on the floor, so no shooting. Again, it's only the second team foul this quarter. Kell in the paint, left hand, too strong. And she just kept going up as soon as he got the ball. Twarg. Ten on the shot clock. And we'll get a foul here. We got Vinny. What do you get him on the arm? So Crane at the line. 2.45 left to go in this JV game. First one rims out. Jose Okendo checking in for the first time. A 
second one is going to be good for Crane. Braga. Gave it back to Rosa and blocked by Corderoni. Good fight. He just back out. Away. A kendo three gonna be short. Yeah, I didn't get enough rotation on that shot. Good look though. 120 seconds. <laughs> oh, it looked like it was swiped by Vinny. Oh. Well, I could smell your chips. Your chip breath. Go now. get some. I don't want any. Well, but thank you. Seems like you do. So they smell good. They do. But I just want to smell it. <laughs> oh, good. A Pick and roll. Oh, can't finish the putback. Is good. Oh, the tip drill by Okendo. Nice look. Yep, good there by Calvin Hurd. Did you hear about him? No. <laughs> Time out to get Zach Belanton in. Yeah. One of Mr. Franco's All-Stars. We're in your favorite number, Sticks. No? Sticks! <laughs> Kelly, is that a baseball term It is. is. All right. Oh, a little too much mustard on that pass. Got two. That's going to be good there from LeClaire. Is fourth. Akendo uh, three is short again. <laughs> 32 seconds left to go. Gales with a 61 34 lead. 32 and a half seconds. Again, we'll cut the feed in 30 seconds. Get us ready for the tip of the varsity game. Oh, Kelly Camoni tried to take off without the ball. Ten seconds. Shot goes up and gonna be short. So that's it for the JVs. Gales win 61-34. We will see you in about 25 minutes for the varsity.